we started actually drawing like the same year together and I think within about five or six months his stuff was like you know two or three or four times better than mine and I'm like and I'm five years older and so I stopped her on started playing guitar I'm like <laughs> I'm not gonna compete with that he was just messy <laughs> just lots of stuff in his room he was always taking things apart and I just remember there always being tools and pieces of things and probably dolls and stuff like that. <laughs> oh yeah, he was great. He was my makeup guy. He, and he was he's always been really macabre. You've seen him, he's angelic looking. He's still in his late 40s. He looks like a little angel. If you could get underneath all that hair and you get him to shave, you'd have a little boy face there. And he's always been very angelic. And yet there's this little <laughs> at the back of him. On Hellboy, the movie Hellboy, I met Guillermo then on that film. He basically said I could do whatever I want. Here's the character, I read the script, and he's like, yeah, let's go for it. Maybe he does put this type of art out so he doesn't have to be, be like that, you know? Like, you know, take this, 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 this shitty day or this feeling, a shitty feeling, and put it on canvas, you know? Oh, it's gone now, now it's there. It's in a physical form. Let's have someone take it. You wanna buy it? It's yours, you know? This is Chad's. This is how he sees life. This is his slant on existence. <laughs> to be scary and horrible and evil and it's just absolutely the opposite thing. It's like healthy, positive, dark art honors suffering. <laughs>